Huh? It's a ghost. A giant ghost giant. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. Okay. Ah! It's not real. You were fishing, and then you fell asleep, and this is just a dream, Louis. Very, very realistic dream. Like that time you thought your pillow was a giant marshmallow, and then you started chewing on it, and woke up with down in your mouth. It's just like that. And you're going to wake up soon, and everything's going to be okay. Just... It's, 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 it's real. It's super real. Leave me alone! Come on, Louis. I won't find you here. Come on. This is kind of alarming. No, 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 no! Please! Help! Please hurry! Help! Why is this happening to me? Okay. Okay. You're fine. You're fine, Louis. And the treehouse, too. No, 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 That just happened. Oh, the flag Maurice made. It's so worn out. I wonder what Maurice is doing now. Oh, you're still here. And you're still huge. I gotta go. Home. And... So, thanks. Bye! <laughs> Is it uh, mm, p picking the wood? Oh, no, I mean, yeah, yeah. Is, is it uh, mm, p picking the wilted flowers? Huh. 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 That's oh, it's gigantic and so helpful. Whoa. Is it helping me? Oh, show those sunflowers. Who, who's a giant ghost? <laughs> um, you've got really big hands. Thank you, but, but why are you helping me? <sighs> I'm sorry I panicked. I just, I've never seen anyone like you before. Who are you? Oh dear, someone's coming. Hurry up and hide! Come on! Somewhere! Uh, ah, no, 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 not there! Find a tree or something! Uh, forget it! Madame La Femme! Don't be scared! It isn't dangerous! What are you talking about? You... you can't see it? See what? 
Oh, my. By my lustrous mane, what on earth is that? Oh, no! Don't worry. I'm pretty sure it doesn't want to eat us. I am joking, Louie. What's the matter with you? You look like you've seen a ghost. I... Um... Here you are. Some nice and tender asparagus. Thank you. Mom will be so pleased. Where is she, by the way? Mom? Uh, by the lake. Fishing. Yeah. Tell her we need to talk about that bill later. The bill. Of course. Don't forget. See you later, Louie. Bye, Madame Lefebvre. Huh. She didn't really see you. Oh, uh... I know that thing about my mom wasn't entirely true, but... Anyhow. My name is Louie. Uh, what's your name? Do you have a name? It's okay. You don't have to talk. I actually was a late talker. My mom told me so. I was completely quiet, and then one day, out of the blue, I said, Potato! <laughs> That's kind of weird, huh? C could you? Could you come closer, please? Uh, may I? May I touch you? Whoa! You really are a ghost. A giant ghost. Can I call you... Ghost Giant? So, what happens if you touch me? <laughs> that tickles! Oh dear. I should plant the seeds before it starts to rain. The key. Where is the key? I'm sure I had it in my pocket. Oh no. Maybe I lost it by the lake. Or in the forest. Or in the house. Ugh. I always lose that thing. It feels so stupid. I'll go inside and look for it. Uh, perhaps you, you could look for it here? Ah, the great quarry picker strikes again. Old shiny things belong. Ah! Where was I? Oh, ah! <coughs> right. Where to hide it? Ah! Come on. Huh. That's a pretty good hiding place, actually. The only problem is how to get it out. Hmm. Hello, shiny thing. I can see you. I love you, you know. Mwah. My apologies, but I believe I found it first. Whoa! No, I'm pretty certain. Well, I am... Yeah. Oh. Fine, keep it. There are more shiny things in the sea. Uh, thanks. <sighs> now we will sow the seeds, and the rain will fall, and the seeds will sprout, and grow, and grow, and... Maybe you could open the door? So we could get the seeds? C -c could you do that? I guess the rats got hungry this winter. Don't panic, Louise. There must be a solution. Of course! How obvious! You must go to town and buy more sunflower seeds. I know you don't want to, and you have absolutely zero money, but it'll be fine, because you're not alone anymore, Louise. You have a giant ghost following you around and helping you, and you have no idea why. But it's a good thing, and everything will be okay. Yeah! I'm going to tell you a secret. I've been teaching myself to drive, for emergency purposes only, and this is definitely an emergency. 
But what if someone sees me? I'll take the forest road. There's less traffic there. And I'll bring a disguise. Huh. I need something to make me look old enough to drive a car. Not too old to drive one either. If only I had a beard or a mustache. <gasps> Why not both? <laughs> Come on! Oh. Hello, I'm a grown-up man driving my car like I've been doing for the past 30 years of being a grown-up. That should do the trick. Come on, car. Please, come on, car. Please. You stupid car. Mom used to push the car down the hill when it wouldn't start. Whoa! Ah, careful! Ah, careful! Oh, <laughs> great! Wait, wait for me! Mirrors adjusted, seat belt on, hands on the wheel, deep breath. <gasps> this hill is really steep. Come on, car. Ah, what's the matter with it this time? Oh, hey, ghost giant, follow me! Good thing I know how to brake, I think. How do you tell if the tree's in love? It says, never leave. And you were amazing! Let me pick up this humongous boulder with my giant hand and throw it away! I could never have done it without you. Hey, do you know what we need? A secret handshake. Slap my hand. Come on, do it! That's it. Now, uh, bump my fist like this. Whoa! That's great! 
slap, bump. That's our secret handshake. <sighs> I wish I could tell Maurice about you. Oh well. Time to take off this beard. It's stuck. And it's so itchy. Help. Can't get it off. Thanks. I've still got a niche behind my ear. Can't breathe. Thank you. All right, let's go see Monsieur Tulip. What's cracking, buddy? Sweet. Let's do this. Hi, tomatoes. I just. Oh, yes. good. Monsieur Tulip's shop is open. <clears throat> Delicious. Tomatoes. There's soup. Good for you. Buy them! Please! I want to get rid of them! Why do I lack the courage to try some other profession? Why? Ugh, such a coward. Hmm. A rose is a rose is a rose. Bonjour! <coughs> Are you okay, Monsieur Tulip? <coughs> yes, yes. Uh, thank you, young man. <coughs> ah, I, I haven't seen you in a while, Louis. Well... Nor your mother. We've been very busy. Actually, we were just about to plant sunflowers. Louis. But then, it turned out the rats had eaten all the seeds. I can't give you any more credit. What? I'm sorry, my dear boy, but your mother has too many unpaid bills. Where is she, by the way? At home. She sprained her ankle, so I hitched a ride with Madame Lefebvre. Ah, Madame Lefebvre. How is she these days? Is her mane still as lustrous? Uh, I guess? Listen, Louis. I'm all out of sunflower seeds. There was a shipment due this morning, but something must have happened to it. I'd go down to the harbor, but I'm simply too busy. I'll go. I'm not sure you can do this, Louis. After all, you're just a little boy. I have a very large friend. Pardon? Uh, nothing. I'll take care of it. I promise. Very well. Talk to the harbor master, Monsieur Cousteau. Okay, great. Thanks. Bon courage, young man. Dear, it's Madame Lefebvre. Mm. Find Bonjour, something I can hide, Monsieur Bonjour. Find me! Here's your asparagus. Quick, I need to hide inside oh, something. Uh, something hollow. Great. Find something I can hide, Monsieur so, Hide me! How are your things? It wouldn't be proper. Oh, they can do this all day, Monsieur Bonbon. Look at the state of those tomatoes. They are an affront to tomatoes everywhere. You're not worthy of my asparagus, Monsieur Bonbon. You're a disgrace to the vegetable trade. You're absolutely right, madame. In fact, I detest vegetables. Please remove your asparagus from my sight. I will indeed. Adieu. Adieu, madame. What are you doing here? Where's your mother? She's at the cemetery. You know how she loves tombs. But I told her about the bill, and she's definitely going to pay. Very well, then. See ya. Uh, have a nice day. Hmm. Excuse me. Excuse me. I need to cross the bridge. Are you sure you want to do that? Or did society... There's nothing wrong with my tomatoes, is there? They're just a bit mushy. And gross. Ew. They look really mushy. Oh, I'm sick and tired of painting landscapes. I think no that. one appreciates cruelty in this oh, godforsaken. Are you 
I Instead, need to pay they pay me to uh, pay what they can get well, for free. When they look out the window. Let's add something blue. Blue, <laughs> like you. My tomatoes can oh. be whatever. It loses its charm. Look really mushy. Oh, well, I really should get started on the Interesting oh. technique. What's next? Night sky on a moonless night. Paint the town red. Lights and lights as well. My dreams. <laughs> and dreams. Here I come. And jump. Oh, I suppose. Oh, dreams. Um. Just. Just one more splash. A bold choice. But something is missing. Cobalt, indigo, sapphire, ultramarine. Oh, it's like poetry. Hell. Let's make it darker. Oh. Darker. Yeah. Raw. Dynamic. Smelly. <laughs> now, something to symbolize the ocean. Ancient, life giving, and, uh, wet is other people. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking about. Darkness. The midnight sky on a moonless night. Keep going! Ghost giant! You are a true artist! Hey, what's that? That's what? Over there! Et voila! Oh, time to display my shame. Such passion. Such vision. Magnifique. Did you paint this, madame? I... Actually, I'm not sure how it got there. Mm, don't be modest, madame. You're a great artist. You really think so? It's so subversive what you're doing. Pretending to be a phony landscape painter. But in secret, you're a revolutionary see? visionary. Why... Why, yes. I am. We salute you, madame. Okay. I'm Odile, by the way. Please, call me Nikki. I dig that. Huh. Well, that turned out pretty. Pretty. Hey, big blue. 